Ryan. Welcome to Ryan's lab. You're just in time for the experiment. What? Yep, today we are doing the film canister rocket. Kaboom! That sounds cool and all, but what does film canister mean? Let me tell you about it. This is a film canister. It's used to store a roll of film. This was pretty popular back in the day before everything went digital. Great, but how do we get started? We gotta put on your lab coat and safety goggles. You're right, safety first. Mm hmm. Okay. There. Now we're ready for the experiment. First, let's add a tiny bit of water into your film canister. Okay? Great. Then you're gonna take your antacid, put it in the film canister, close it really, really tight, really, really quick. Okay? Then flip it upside down, and then look. Pop! Just wait one second. It's gonna release. We gotta keep waiting. Whoa! Whoa. Where'd it go? Whoa! Whoa. Where did it go? Oh, there it went. <laughs> that was so cool. So Ryan, I have to ask you a question. Hmm? How do you think it works? What makes the film canister just go popping up like that? Well, I see some bubbles, so it's probably creating some sort of gas, right? Good observation, Ryan. The bubbles, or the gas that you see, is carbon dioxide gas. Mm, like the same one we breathe out. <sighs> That's right. So when you mix in the antacid and water, it creates carbon dioxide gas. The more carbon dioxide gas you have, the more pressure that is built up. That means it will blast the cap down and launch the rocket up. Is that how real rockets work? Um, same sort of idea, but real rockets use rocket fuel. Now, it was fun seeing like two canister, but what about we do a whole bunch of them? Amazing, but how will it work? So, I already pre-prepare, there's the water, Here's the antacid, and in the middle, as to separate them, are the straws. Then, all you have to do is screw it into the cap. What do you think, cool, huh? Yeah. No, we just have to screw in a lot more. All right, Ryan, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, step back. It's gonna take time. Whoa. Okay, the pressure is building up. The carbon dioxide whoa. gas whoa, is created. Whoa, 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 that was so cool. Did you see that? Yeah. The cap blacked it down and the rocket blasted up. Whoa. whoa. That was super amazing. Yeah, thanks to Newton's third law. Am I right? Oh yeah, Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. That's right. When the lid blasted down, the film canister blasted up in the opposite direction. But wait, can we go bigger? Of course. This is Ryan's lab after all. Thought you never asked. Come on. Whoa. Hey, so is this big enough? Yeah, whoa, it's so big. It's around 200 film canister rockets. What? That's so many. Are you ready to blast them all off? Yeah. Okay, but like we discussed, safety is important. So here's your helmet. All right. Okay, let's blast off. All right, Ryan, you ready? Yeah. Here goes nothing, let's blast off.
to shrink down so we can fit in the rocket and escape. Well, how do you have such things? Well, I got it from Tech. You never know when I'm going to need to shrink myself. OK, well, what are you waiting for? Hurry up. OK. Whoa! You're so tiny. Yeah, I can't believe it actually worked. We better get to the rocket ship fast.